This Ace Volt Camp Power 700 is probably one of the best mid-grade, smaller portable power stations we've seen on the market in a long time. This is a lithium iron phosphate unit, so it's gonna take 2,500 plus charges before you lose that top 20% of this battery. It seems to have everything together, including a pretty awesome instruction manual, which you don't see this too often in this world. So we're gonna go through this guy top to bottom. Stay tuned. Let's go over what this guy has. First, whenever this LED screen is on, you have this ACE volt on each side that kind of blinks through. Pretty sweet for looks. I don't know that you really need anything with that, but this color screen here is actually quite nice. It's hard to see in the shop with the different lights, but there's very few buttons here, which is nice because it's easy to use, but at the same point in time, they do a lot of things, and that's where this manual comes into play. It will walk you through everything, including its eco mode, so it'll automatically turn on and off. It'll walk you through the different outputs, the different warnings, the different types of things that you have. This kind of detail in proper English and well explained is just not found today. And I think that this makes this pretty awesome on top of everything else. You have troubleshooting here if you have any issues, but quite nice. I actually don't see this often at all. If we were to look at this, the other thing that stands out is this wireless output. So if we turn on our DC, we can put our phone up here. Boom, we're charging. That's pretty nice to see. It's a 15 watt output. It looks like this could be something. I even started to peel these guys up and uh, don't because it is nothing other than the screws that hold everything together and it's glued in. But either way, don't try to peel that up. Here's where you have everything. You can turn things on and off. It's currently set up in 60 Hertz mode. If you want to change that, you can just push and hold. These things will switch. And you can see the 60 Hertz is blinking. And we're now in 50 Hertz, back to 60. This is the quick display on, but if the display is on, I found that you can hold it and the light will actually come on, which it's not cooperating now because I haven't selected the 60 Hertz mode there. See if you push and hold, the LED light will come on. And there's different modes to it. It's very standard. Cigarette lighter adapter or car adapter, two 12 volt outputs, and then four 120 volt, they're 110 volt outlets. Two of them have the opening for a ground. So if you're gonna run anything that has a ground, like this kilowatt, you only have two outlets. If you can get away with it and you're just plugging other things in that don't have the grounds, you got four. So if we plug this guy in here, turn on our AC, it'll show up that we have 112 volts. And it's hard to see from this side. But that's not bad. The nice part about it is we can also plug in the charger at the same point in time. The input and output doesn't change. And I, I like that part about this. We'll plug in our Milwaukee heat gun. This is gonna take us right to the max on medium. We're gonna go up. This is gonna say right around 720. We're gonna show our output here at 679. Very reasonable, they're fairly close. If I click this on high, it's gonna be upwards of 1400 watts. This guy kicks out immediately. That is awesome because we don't see that voltage drop and everything here seems to work well. So one of the things that we see a lot of the times is we'll, we'll drag this voltage down to 90 or something and then it'll click off. This thing clicks off almost immediate and that is perfect because I want to save any sensitive electronics that I have connected to this. We're allowed to power in either via solar, which they give you all the different plugs if you want to power in solar or if you want to plug it into your car and power out at the same time. Another thing that's a great benefit, you can do that with AC or DC. There is thermal fans in the back and if you're wondering what you can power in here for how long, they have a nice little section that tells you exactly what you can do and they give you the 
efficiency right here. This is 672 watt hour, 86% efficient. And then you just look at the working power of your device. Most of the time we would see a 700 watt output with a 700 watt hour battery in it. This is just slightly less. And you would sit, you'd have to calculate your efficiency. So anything in this efficiency, anything that's 600 watts output is going to drain this battery in about one hour, maybe just a touch less. So if you're running 100 watts, you're going to have six hours worth of AC on this. That's not that much. So if you're going to use this, make sure that you're buying this for the right purposes. If we were to look at camping, there's three things that this has that I really like. Wireless charging, sit it on the picnic table, wireless charge your phone or anyone's phone that's around 15 watts, doesn't take up much battery power. It's also semi-protected from the sun since it's underneath here. I like that part a lot. Three USB outlets in the front, two USB-A fast charge, so three amp, 100 watt USB-C output. That's great. A lot of computers these days are gonna be able to hook up to this, no issue, iPads, even iPhones, lots of uh, even chargers for a lot of the new phones can hook up to the USB-C output on here. Fast charge, that's pretty significant. You do have options for a cigarette lighter out. So if you were running a cooler or anything else, or even a small 12 volt TV, anything like that, this is gonna last a long time. Where it's not gonna last a long time is obviously AC output because of battery size and the limited amount of AC you're gonna have. Now, again, small refrigerator, not gonna take much. Little items, a little fan, not gonna take much. So if you're camping in a tent and just need a fan, this will probably run that fan all night. The way it's set up in its size, its portability, it's not overly heavy. The fact that it's got lithium iron phosphate batteries is awesome. So what you have here is a great small package for camping. I like that. I like the fact that it's a reliable and you can turn the eco mode on and off. So eco mode on, if it sees less than 10 watts of output over four hours, it'll just say, I'm saving the battery, turning off. If you turn off eco mode, it'll stay on all the time. And I think that's pretty cool. So you might have something running that turns on and off, on and off, and you want it to stay on all the time, this dude will do it. It's nice to have the options. And the, again, this is mid-grade. We're talking about a little higher end options that we're seeing on this smaller, less expensive unit. So pretty cool. I'll put a link in the description for this guy if this is something you're interested in. I think it might fit the bill for the smaller, lesser expensive models, especially since it's lithium iron phosphate. Pound on that because you'll find a lot of these priced in the same range at lithium ion. Lithium ion is not gonna have the battery life that lithium iron phosphate will. As always, give us a like in this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.